Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video <clears throat> on Silica. Uh, we are going to be doing a bit of a, uh, a tips and tricks scenario with the alien race here on Silica. Now I'm not as, as well up to date with the alien stuff than I am with the human stuff. However, I have had a few uh, few hours playtime with the aliens. So hopefully I can leave some tips and tricks for you guys if you are struggling with that race. Now... Um, all about the aliens they're more of a zergy race if you played a lot of starcraft then you know um they're kind of like a zerg type type deal um you, you you have these shrimps which are basically your harvester unit they go and take uh biotics from what they're like these little black pools of, of like biomass and they deliver them back to your bio centers so um a little bit of a different way is how they get their material they don't even go anywhere near boltarium <clears throat> is not one of their uh resources so um yeah, with that as well, um, the aliens tend to be a bit more of a uh, melee-based um, swarm faction. So you got to play them a lot differently than you do the humans. So we're going to jump straight in. We're going to go in this commander to start with here. And the game is just about to start as well. So we've got a nest here. We're actually playing on Rift Basin. Um, it is probably one of the better maps of the more at the moment here. Just for showing you guys what to do because it is quite small. And as you currently see there, we have got quite a few shrimps. These are the shrimps here. Um, let's see if we can zoom in a bit more so you see what they're up to. So they're actually on their way towards a node at the moment, which is this thing here. Now, this thing here is actually a uh, resource node. And we'll have a better look at it in a moment when we go into first person mode. Now, um, I did see in the comments for the last guide that I did on the humans that you wanted to see a little bit more to do with uh, what buttons I'm pressing. So um, I'm going to go through with that uh, well, as well with you guys as as well there so um first i'm gonna get a bio cache down from the build menu this is where they actually uh, drop off um the materials that we need for uh building and creating new units uh, once that's done then we unlock even more from the nest however right okay so the free cam movement like this um there's been a lot of questions with the rotation is the 90 degree angle but there is also a secondary rotation that you can do by holding alt on your keyboard um, it does reset the camera as soon as you let go of alt. But if you want to just have a look at a few of your units and have a bit of a free cam around them, and it's not as good as like free cam in general, um, that is a way you can do it. Um, another thing as well is when you're moving your units. Now, I'm not sure if it actually works with the aliens, but if you hold shift, you see a run, like a sprinting icon, comes up. Now, if you press that, I assume, I know the humans do, they run a lot faster. Like they, st they start to sprint. But I do believe they won't be able to open fire if they're in sprint. Um, well, looks like it doesn't really affect the aliens because they've got quite fast speed as it is. Yeah, it doesn't really affect the aliens as such. And also with the crabs, because they've got a function that they can actually borrow into the sand. Um, I'm just going to give it a go a moment. So holding control, you can see there's, a, there's a, like an eye icon. Let's see if they actually end up borrowing into the sand there. I don't think they do. I think it's just a hide and lose, lose line of sight. Okay, so per perhaps it's going to be something that's a... Uh, done in the future there but it looks like it's not going to be working now i'm not entirely sure what that eye icon means then it could be just um to hide behind cover or something so now that we have got the uh, bio what's it called the bio cache down uh, we have now unlocked the node we've unlocked the lesser spawning cyst a quantum cortex which is your research structure so we're actually going to get a spawning cyst down as well quite early on so it allows us to spawn those units it also allows us to spawn the harvesting unit the shrimp which will allow us to get more um more resources quicker now what you really want to do is when you're playing as the aliens is you really want to get scouting pretty quickly um the reason why is because you need to scout out for this this valuable resource that you're going to be looking to grab and uh, with this uh this faction you see there's one there as well with this faction the only way you can build away from your base is by building nodes so we've got a node at the moment here that we're going to be planting down um we're actually going to be planting it Just realized the volume might be a little bit too quiet for you guys. Um, let me just sort that out. So we are going to be planted down a node. Uh, the node then allows me to expand a bit further here. As you currently see I can actually build a little bit further out now. It looks like we've located the enemy base as well, which is great. And by doing this, we're actually able to get closer and closer to this resource cache. And what this will allow us to do now is get the bio cache as close as possible to it. And then it won't, it won't be such a big journey for the shrimps to go back and forth. However, it will be very much undefended. And this is where um, having a lot of alien forces to defend yourself. Now, I do feel like the commander 
for the aliens have got to do a lot more micromanaging uh, just because of the natural the way that the uh the faction plays out um you're gonna have to just expand a lot and uh just build a ton of units crabs seem to be overpowered in swarms but that should be the case i mean they're quite squishy as well so overpowering gunfire should be able to annihilate crabs quite easily uh we're actually going to put down our research cortex as well the quantum cortex and we're going to continue building nodes out towards where we think caches might be um i've got a feeling there's probably going to be down here in this uh ravine so we're going to continue to do so we found one up here where this hunter has just went and had a look so with the uh, factions as well you can build multiple buildings at once so we're going to continue building nodes up towards these uh, resource caches just to allow the shrimps a easier time of getting back and forth to their uh, to their drop off points so you currently see it working the way here on this resource cache it's starting to run so we've got four impalers now these guys are pretty much anti-infantry units they're ranged anti-infantry unit with a melee attack as well but they are also quite squishy so they can get killed off quite easily uh the crab are kind of like your fast moving melee scout unit now they also burrow into the into the sand and you can set up quite nasty ambushes with them which is a which is a pretty pretty cool aspect for these guys now you also got the horn crab as well which is a heavily armored version of the crab. Let's fucking find the horned crab quickly. There he is. So we've got two of those. They're the horned crabs there, making their way across the sandy dunes. So they're actually making their way down, down towards into this ravine to try and find some more biomass. Now, um, to be honest with you, it is pretty, pretty easy as that when it comes down to the aliens. It, it's all about making sure you've got shrimps collecting resources. Um, you're expanding out and grabbing more nodes when you can. Um, you're also you need you need to just continuously build um, units because you want to. You, the job of the alien is to end up swarming the enemy, um, and then you get your heavy heavier siege units out eventually in the end as well, like the Goliath and the Behemoth, and you've got your anti-vehicle units. The Hunter is a really good unit to have as well. Um, it's your very fast uh, mover, um, not so much anti-vehicle because you've got to get into melee range. But the hunter is very, very fast. They're very good at taking down infantry with with relative ease. But it's also good at vehicles, technically, if you can get if you can close that melee distance and climb on top of those vehicles. Um, yeah, the hunter's a very fast, unit, very, very fast unit to be using. But yeah, as you can currently see, we've got the uh, lesser spawning cyst. We've got our research building there. It's doing alpha one, which will now allow us to unlock even more. Um, probably from the spawner itself. There we go. So now we've got the horned crab and the impaler unlocked i'm not going to go into beta 2 uh looks like i am still building shrimps i am still building shrimps the more shrimps means more income and it looks like we found something else there now we're going to continue to move these crabs up towards the enemy it looks like these impalers get into a bit of a firefight with the enemy forces here the enemy infantry uh these guys are anti-infantry by nature now another good thing about alien as well is uh being able to get yourself tucked into rocks there and take cover look at this alien get absolutely blasted do I actually get a pull through these back? I know I'm going to lose that one. I might actually lose another here. Um, yeah, get absolutely blasted by all of these infantrymen. Um, you want to play the aliens quite smart. You want to get them embedded in rocks up on cliffs. And just shoot down on the enemy. And if you can lay ambushes, you want to do that as well. So we're going to actually pull this guy away. Because we're starting to take some damage. Um, I think about the aliens, your main objective is to quickly swarm the enemy before they get too strong. Especially if they're a human faction. Um, as soon as the human faction gets up to speed and start getting the heavy units out, it's going to be very tough for the aliens to deal a mass amount of damage to them. That's where crab uh, ambushes will come into play with the slower human units. Um, being able to bury them into the ground and wait patiently for a tank to wander by before jumping on him and annihilating him in melee range. Um, so we're going to continue to build a few before we go into the first person mode because the AI will take over for me. And continue to build. Like we're currently stuck at a uh, an impasse here, where we're currently going for upgrades. Uh, we have now started to lose money after building that greater spawning cyst, which is building your heavier units as the aliens. Um. So yeah, as you see, the building's starting to be manufactured. The hunter has returned home. I'm going to be looking to take control of this hunter very soon. I'm going to go on a little mission. We're going to let the AI continue. Um, they're going to be a lot better managing this faction than I am. Because they're, uh, yeah, just in general. We're going to take control of the hunter. 
by the way guys as the aliens now that we're into uh the first aka third person mode um totally different to the way the humans work the so humans you spawn as an infantryman you gotta go and uh, claim a vehicle and grab it now with the alien you actually transfer a mind so you just look at who you want to take control of and press e and it will allow you just to quickly switch between different aliens um so yeah you don't have to run up to a unit to be able to take it now these crabs are on a scouting tour uh, we're gonna go and see if we can annihilate some of the enemy uh infantrymen that are on the way to the base and uh, we're gonna go from there yeah, again guys if you're enjoying the videos uh, please leave a like subscribe and leave some comments below very much appreciate it i'm glad you guys are loving the silica content uh, the very first video i put out has absolutely smashed at all expectations and uh, i very much appreciate all the love i've been getting on the videos as well um hopefully the volume is a lot better now as well for you guys so uh um, hopefully you can hear me a lot better over the game sounds. I did turn the music down as well. The music was overly powering versus everything else. But we're going to make our way now towards these uh, lovely three fellows who are crossing the desert wide out into the open trying to shoot us. Yeah. I'm going to take a lot of damage to uh, pretty much uh, to all of these guys as this, is, this, this unit is solely anti-infantry. I've taken a lot of damage as well. I mean, one hunter for four infantrymen. I mean... Let's go. But like I said, guys, you can actually set up cheeky little ambushes. You can get yourself on top of rocks. You can, drum, you can literally jump on top of the harvester and literally just absolutely destroy it from above whilst the uh, enemy try to scramble to get to you and try to get angles on you. So, uh, yeah, there are other ways to do it. Now, it's saying I'm unconcealed. It's probably because I've been lit up by the enemy forces and maybe marked for termination by the enemy commander. That's probably what that means. Um, I'll try and figure out from the devs what that actually means or if anyone knows in the chat or in the comments please let me know i do believe that is what that means i don't want to lose visual from the enemy commander and by killing that last uh infantryman by the looks of the fog wars i'll take over his view and it's now showing that i'm uh, i'm no longer be seen however it's just came back so i'm probably within view of something and it is going to be a uh, vehicle and this is where i'll probably lose my hunter here now i'm going to try and play ambush tactics against this uh against this light quad yeah they don't really have to be able to rock the time that does have you gone down but that just shows you a quick look at uh the totally different types of units from the aliens like i said the crab guys if i i, I can actually show you now what the crab does for burrow you hold control and he goes into the sand now not be seen no idea is there as soon as the vehicle pops past space bar you break out and you're on it you can go for him you can take down that tank you can take down that vehicle now actually i might try and put this into effect that buggy might be coming up this ravine any second now um we'll keep an eye on it we might actually be going down the lower right side we'll see i will lose the crab because the crab's not very uh very good on the zone you need a a army of crabs to do a lot of damage Okay, so I've actually been tasked with actually attacking the light, light quad as the uh, as the crab. So we're actually going to make our way. Climb my way over here. Looks like the uh, shrimps are doing their, doing their thing. You can take control of the shrimps as well. Um, okay, the, the quads are coming. So you can take control of the shrimps as well and actually harvest for your team. But I do feel like the AI does it a hell of a lot better. So we've got a behemoth there as well. I'm actually going to burn myself. Sometimes it just it does throw you out, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't think the quads are actually going to be coming for me. They're too busy in a fight. So I'm going to stop the ambush tactics. And we're going to take hold of this... Uh, uh, what's the call the, uh, the behemoth. Now this thing... Great at melee distance. And I believe it's a very good anti infantry as well. I don't think these all do much to vehicles. Um, they do pretty much one shot infantry if you spot any infantry with these things. And they do auto lock on as well. Um, let's see how much damage we're going to be doing to the vehicle. But yeah, it's not going to be much. Um, there is another alien that is more prone to anti vehicles. We haven't done enough damage to like to kill it. But again, it's, uh, it's not as good as another human. It's not enough. Same, more good. Target is down. Crab rifle is going in front of you. You're not a 
was going, and we're able to annihilate that. Because of this unit's incredible melee. Um, I mean, look at it. Actually menacing beast. Speaking of which, this is what I was talking about. So, this is the anti vehicle unit. This is, I believe, the Scorpion. Don't check his name. Uh, where's it to? Lost it. There it is. It is the Scorpion. Uh, this, this thing is great. If you're struggling with enemy vehicles, get yourself tucked into a rock somewhere and you can just spray down on the enemy here. And you can see I'm dealing a fair amount of damage that before. And it's gone already at range. It's also quite good for uh, infantry, but you have to hit your shots. Not as good as, say, the Impaler. That gun and infantry, the Impaler is the only three unit at range. There we go. They are coming out a lot of enemy squads that can be shot the rear. Oh my god. Okay, the AI are absolutely on it today. I'm going to have my work cut out for me here. But this unit is designed for this. It is designed to take down these, these, uh, these guys. Yeah, there's a lot going down here. A, a lot going down. I'm not sure the AI is really caught up with the economics of the other AI just yet. Busy talking. Uh, however, we are just we're in melee range now of these uh, of these riflemen. There's no hope for them. They're dead. Um, or they are sending a lot of enemy forces up here as the alien forces. We want to try and get our Goliaths up, which are the big heavy siege units. And this is where the hunter's coming back to do some work. But we will continue to defend the, the spawners. Right, okay, so. They're sending a lot. This is AI I'm fighting, by the way. It's definitely a. Uh, Definitely kicked up a gear a bit. The AI is normally quite slow, especially on the hum human side of things. This is what happens with their economy and their harvesters are actually working properly. Um, you can see, not very accurate with the uh, Scorpion. Not comparison to say the Impaler. That is a uh, heavy, heavy rocket unit. Um, you have to close the distance on this boy. Because he could annihilate me relatively quickly. Right, let's have a look at the map. So again, yeah, we we, we literally haven't expanded very much at all. Uh, the shrimps are doing their work down below now. It could be the reason why we're actually suffering tanking the economy. Speaking of a uh, Goliath, there's our first Goliath come out with its spawning hit. Big old heavy unit. We're not going to get into him just yet. Because he's a slow boy. I'm going to let the AI take control of him for a moment. By the way, guys, uh, on both uh, human and alien, it's C on the keyboard to go first person. Um, you won't be able to go first person in vehicles, unfortunately, for the human race. But anything to do with, uh, to do with the infantry, you can go first person. There's a bug with the camera where it resets to a uh, kind of like a 45% angle to the left. Every time you come out of camera with the aliens, hopefully that'll get sorted soon. Um, just checking to see where my shrimps are. Yeah, we have, we've hardly got any shrimps. We're going to quickly jump back into uh, commander mode. And yeah, I mean, we've got a few shrimps, but they're, we, we can have more shrimps. We, we need more shrimps. We're too busy building crabs at the moment. We don't crabs, we want shrimps. So we're going we're gonna to tie up some, cr uh, some crimps, I was going to say. Some crabs. I don't know, some shrimps, sorry. One thing the AI hasn't really done, which I would suggest if you're going to be playing Commander for Alien, is to build multiple spawning uh, pits. Because you can you can literally spawn a hell of a lot more all at once. If you have more than one of these uh, spawning cysts. And a minute we seem to just be rocking one of each, which was what I built originally. There's like a Goliath is getting into some combat here, and he's going to be absolutely smashing up those infantry units. We've also got a behemoth over there, making his way over to the enemy base. 
Um, however, there is a light god there as well. The shrimps are taking income and fire, which is not good. That's your harvester unit taking income and fire as well. Um, that's that behemoth. I want to take back control eventually as well there. Um, these guys, are you delivering? They are delivering. Right, okay. So, hopefully, we're going to get another spawning cyst up. This is just gonna this is just gonna help the AI when it takes back control from me, surely. To uh to spawn more units in. We're actually gonna build some nodes. We're gonna get ourselves a biocache over here. Because there's a shrimp going back and forth, but he's got a long run to get back home. Um we're actually gonna send this guy after this scout. And this hunter also. This Goliath can literally carry on. Take down these heavy quads. Yeah, definitely, guys. If you have any tips on the alien faction, please leave them in the comments below for the guys to uh, have a look over. Anything I am missing here. A very different play style to the human style of things. You've got these massive harvesters that are picking up Altarium and dropping them back at the refinery. Then with the aliens, you've got more of a, uh, a StarCraft style pick up the goods and drop them back at the center, multiple of them. Um, this hunter is literally brainless at the moment here. Go and kill this man. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for that, Mr. Hunter. On your journey, sir. Right, okay. So we're, we're dropping a lot of spawning cysts, which is good. We're actually going to build a biocache now here next to this, uh, next to this area. Uh, we could put out another nest if we can get the upgrade for it, which I believe we're still waiting. I um, keep spending the resources that we're given. Um, right, okay, we're going to start taking control of this Goliath. We're going to get into some Goliath mode. I need to go and catch him. So, uh, give me a second, guys. We're going to let the AI, AI now retake control. Hopefully, they don't cancel my shrimp production. Uh, we're going to be running and jumping our way over towards that Goliath. Remember, the aliens you don't have to stand next to that unit. If you've got a, uh, a view on the unit, you can take control of it. Okay, we're going to actually take control of the hunter. See, he's a fast boy. And uh, look at that. We've already caught up to the Goliath. Boom. We're now part of the big boy. I'm going to go and see if we can smash up the enemy base with this big boy. Literally, as soon as you get this unit out, the priority of the human is to destroy this unit. This unit reaches your base. It's, uh, it might be a GG, you know. It's going to be a uh, hard one for the human AI to deal with me at this point. They are seeming to be pushing out though. There's quite a lot of quads and stuff. They haven't got any of the heavy tanks out just yet. None of the rail tanks, hopper tanks, um, heavy armored car. I haven't seen a heavy armored car just yet. Which is like that that lighter tank on wheels. See the two units, so I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm going straight for the structures. Um, maybe the harvester as well. The hunter is literally beaming it towards the enemy base right now. He could be dealing with the uh, infantry units instead. So there's a rocket unit there. Somewhere. Now, when you're going up against the human faction, your number one priority probably is to take down the enemy uh, economy. Try and deal some damage to the economy. Because they, uh, they you will run out quite quickly. The units are very expensive. So we have actually got a, 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 a light armor car there. It's not a heavy one just yet, but they have really used armor cars now. Oh, so, speaking of which, I took a big old hit there, but we're going to carry on. We're going to go after this harvester as much as we can before we get dropped. And you can see the amount of damage this thing is doing. We've climbed all over this harvester and we're just wrecking it down over here. Now, I do, I am a firm believer of uh, they need to move the harvester as a buildable unit.
here with his unit as well is trying to avoid the, uh, the enemy HQ at all costs. Um, the enemy HQ will really tear this thing to shreds. And if you can get on top of the HQ in time before you lose your uh, your big boy, your Goliath, then you, you've pretty much won that, uh, either that, or that round without the uh, HQs the enemy's got before you've won the game against them. So we're going to remove this refinery from play. Okay, the refinery's gone. And we're going to try and get ourselves over, over to the right here. I like to cover. But the health of this unit is not looking good at the moment. It's not cheap for the uh, so they are trying to build an ultra heavy vehicle factory. And this is where the harvesters and siege tanks are built. So, uh, yeah, not good. However, I cannot actually attack it physically at the moment. Which is another thing that probably would be a great thing to have fixed. Um, basically, if you go into that building site, you actually start taking damage from the building. Um, yeah. We're actually going to attack this light cable factory. I'm going to get rid of it. It's probably as one shot as one shot can be. Another thing as well is um, once you put a build queue in, all the uh, factory it is destroyed during that time. Um, it still continues to build that unit. It's a bit strange in that aspect. Um, yeah, we're we'll probably dead here. I'm not going to be able to. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go and try to take down this heavy vehicle. Oh, the heavy vehicle factory. As soon as I step on it, I'm going to start taking damage from this. I'm dealing damage to it though in the meantime. But whether I stay alive or not, HP that I've got. Another question. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, there you go. Right, so we're going to spawn back in as a crab. Cheeky old crab. Crab right there. Again, with the horn crab as well, they can go underneath and come back out again. Which is buggy on its way. Actually, I'm attacking what seems to be a crab of some sort over there. Um, let's check what the AI's done. Have they done anything of uh, value? AI? Have you? They've literally, I don't think they've built anything else apart from just units. I'm gonna try and uh, get myself on this buggy and kill it with this horn crab. Probably looks good. I'm gonna to jump to the point and get it. He's driving away from the center. Oh, we're almost there. We've got him. Oh, no. Lucky. Switch targets after killing off that hunter, I believe. Right, okay, let's jump back into Commander and let's see where we're at. So, yeah, it's not looking good. The AI seems to be struggling massively with uh, with some sort of economy. Now, they do have defensive structures. However, I do believe they are bugged at the moment, so defensive structures aren't working as intended. But we just went into Gamma 3, going into Omega 4, which is where you start to unlock the bigger stuff. Um, how much have we got? 800, 900. We're going we're gonna to put a queue in for more shrimps, I think, before we switch back. Looks like that hunter did actually annihilate that buggy. This poor shrimp has got no hope. Uh, there's no range units, though. The Impalers. The Impalers down here. Um, yeah. Let's get some more hunters. And let's switch back and help the alien guys out. If I can get hold of that impaler, I can do a lot of damage to the enemy uh, infantry. Uh, however, yeah, the, the shrimps have got no chance. They're going for that left side and they're getting absolutely smacked by infantry units. Some of them are going back though. You can see that one over there is on his way over towards the other one. Where's this impaler? Let's find him. There he is. Right, okay, so we've got control of the Impaler. We're actually going to scale this cliff. And we're going to make our way over towards the enemy infantry that are currently attacking the base. Let's see if we can get ourselves a win as well. We need the AI to start building more heavy heavy siege units. Like the uh, Goliath, Behemoth, um, Scorpion. The stuff that can deal damage to buildings. In a pretty massive way. However, I could kind of know why um, the alien faction is struggling at this time. It's because the shrimps are getting killed off by these vehicles. Um, I might have to actually switch to Hunter, I think. For melee purposes, I don't think there's any infantry left down there. What's that? It's a horn crab. Right, okay. Switch to the Hunter. Um, we're going to try. Oh, oh my god. He's out of the Yeah, 
the infantry are dead, so there's no point in me. Oh, crap, doing the work. Let's go, crap. There you go, you destroyed that one as well. Oh, and we are going to be seeing our first of the armored car. And we're going to have to get on this big boy straight away before he shoots us. Oh, no, I just bounced off of him. <laughs> I bounced off of him. No. Oh, God. Hopefully, he doesn't do the work before they die. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Being very slow, boys. We're gonna continue to push though if we can. Um, I think you might switch target in a second. Oh yes. Quick, bury ourselves. No, I'll come back out. Bury ourselves again. Please stay buried. Light. Oh god, he's popping out. Uh, we're gonna give it a go. I don't anticipate. Him. What's this heavy armor car is here? Firing at the base. Oh, we might be able to get on top of him. And it's going to be big if we can. And we're on him. Right, okay. Smash him up. Stay away from his main armament. But we have got good as good as he can get. We're probably dying from the explosion. Oh no, we're good. We lost a little bit of health, but we've uh, helped our AI massively. Right. How many shrimps have we got? Uh, forages. We've got 20 foraging units, so, you know, we should have a sizable amount of income. Now, as soon as we see those siege tanks, helper tanks, uh, railgun tanks, it could be GG's for this, uh, for this alien AI. For my AI. Not looking good so far. Seems to be a tank of some sort over there. I'm just a crab. I am just a crab. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and dodge his shots as I can move into uh okay, so it's a light armor car. Oh the AI is too good, it's too good. Okay, back into commander mode. Let's have a look at what's going down. Not looking good, I'm not gonna lie. We're building hunters, we're building Goliath, we're building a behemoth. Uh, we are building a lot of shrimps, but we now need to start building more Zergy type units. Let's build a lot of crabs. Uh, how much have we got? We've got 4,000. Are we fully researched? We're, we're in full research, so uh, we don't have to worry about them. Now, these are the defenses. Um, yeah, I'm gonna build them just so you guys can see what they do, but they're, they, they really haven't got much. They can that crab is just gonna annihilate. It looks like the shrimp is going into some action as well. Careful get run over my dude there that crab's got that unit dead to rights there we go well played to the crab but yeah we're gonna start spawning out uh we're gonna start spawning out more crabs we're gonna get a full crab army going um they are the uh your, your sprinty boys they'll be able to just overwhelm certain vehicles we're gonna get some more spawning pits up as well um, looks so like we are still taking in common fire. We've got a lot of enemy, just infantry in general. This is what I love about this map. Because it's such a short distance between bases, the infantry actually can do something. And they are doing a lot of things. I think they've actually destroyed that source of... Uh, yeah, they have. Okay, we're going to actually pull away from that. We need to... Uh, we need to get different materials from elsewhere. Or else we're going to be losing shrimps for no reason. I'm actually going to keep this behemoth back. To send the crabs after the enemy. Uh, that impaler, though, if I can get hold of that impaler, which I'm going to try and do, I could probably wipe out the whole enemy forces. Because that horn crab has got that heavy. Uh, we might have actually lost this. Um, so we might have. Yeah, I think we have. Uh, which isn't good because we're about to take an enormous amount of damage. However, we are currently swarming the enemy trees. No, they've come out victorious. The uh, the enemy humans, which are AI, by the way, absolutely annihilating me right now. Aha, hunter. Right, okay. I might have this now. The hunter's going to be doing the work. Oh, and my turrets are open fire as well. Right, we kill him. See if the turrets are actually dealing damage. Now they are dealing it's quite a bit of silent damage. I know they, uh, my uh, swarm of crabs are also dealing a lot of damage as well. Looks so like there is an imp uh, a vehicle of some sort here. A heavy quad. I'm going to try and assassinate him. 
Okay, so we've assassinated the quad. Just by building a lot of crabs, you can see how the tides have turned. And we're now going to be starting to uh, expand out a bit. Um, I'm going to try and take on a harvester here with this hunter. I don't think my behemoth is ready. Oh, he is there. Okay, I can take control of the behemoth. Oh, he destroyed us. He destroyed a. Uh, I don't know what this thing's called now. Oh, that is Behemoth. I've got the Scorpion, sorry. So, enemy base. Uh, the AI haven't built another refinery by the looks of things. Oh, no, they have, sorry. But uh, I only see one harvester. The other one might be a bit further away. We're going to continue our adventure towards enemy base. Now we could sit on that cliff and just just artillery fire into the enemy base, which I would advise if you're doing online play. Um, you could be a right annoyance to the human enemy team. However, because I am in a uh, offline game, I'm just gonna roll in, and deal some damage. And uh, by the looks of things as well, we're gonna have a work cut out for us. I might not even be able to complete this video within an hour at this at this rate. Normally I'll be done by now. Normally I'll be taking the base by now with the uh, behemoth. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Careful with this heavy. But I killed him. And we are dealing with a light squad. It says, as soon as you get the tank units out of the human, um, you really need to be ready as an alien faction. You need to have that swarm at the ready uh, to just try and climb on those vehicles to destroy them outright. As you can see, I am dealing damage to this harvester. I'm not dealing too much damage. So this is where the ambush tactics of being able to just sit in the cliffs there and just shoot over the top. There we go. Right, let's climb on this harvester and see if we can take it out. will blow to the enemy's economy. Um, I don't see another harvester. And they can build harvesters from the heavy factory. Ultra heavy factory. Oh god. Okay, it's, it's, I thought it might have been a rail tank. It's not. It's just a... Uh, okay, so we've got vehicles to deal with here. I'm using the, uh, like the uh, night vision mode to try and figure out where I'm being shot from. Because when you're like this, you can see the silhouette, but it can be very hard with your, uh, with your reticles in the way. Unfortunately, I can win that one. But there is a Goliath on the way. However, they have got heavy armor, 
which uh, again makes the game even longer than it needs to be for this video. But you guys, you can see now the alien race is a uh, very melee, heavy focused race versus the humans, very ranged focused. Well, actually, hardly range focused. We're going to try and take control of the, uh, the Goliath. You can see it, I think. However, getting to the center of life was taking so much incoming fire. Oh, it's dead. The Goliath's dead. It's been annihilated. We're going to try and uh, kill this vehicle in front. We did take out that tank just then. The humans are incredibly strong now. Oh god, there's another one right there. Yeah, this is gonna be a GG for the hunter. And looks like our uh that's not the scorpion, that's the other one. The anti tree unit instead. Okay, well while we're here, let's just double check to see what the commander has been doing. We've been building. See, again, not utilizing any of, the, any of the other spawning cysts. However, we are lacklustering on money as well. So, uh, what can be improved? I mean, we could expand further, get more cysts down, get some more biocaches down to allow for faster growth. But again, we're really lackluster on money. The behemoth's going to run into right trouble there with that light armored car. There is one harvester there, so we haven't quite kill them and dead in the water and let's see if they're building anything they're not building any siege tank just yet will i win this game most likely uh, however it will take me a long time to do so i'd have to try and recover the uh the economy here for the alien race as the uh as the ai has kind of failed to expand over to these caches. As you can see, they're walking, the shrimps are going miles just to get anywhere near where they need to be. So let's see if I can just recover this. If not, then I will end up ending video early just for the sake of time. However, we're going to try and recover this as much as possible. Our defenses are doing well, so we've got that to help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so we're going to continue building nodes. Um, for some reason that cancelled. There we go. We're going to continue building nodes across the cliffs here. We're going to actually get them underneath. We're going to go for here. And then we're going to build another one and go for this one as well. Uh, we could also go a little bit more northern. So we actually start taking fire as the Impaler. Taking shots from a ton of scouts. This Impaler is going to die quite quickly. Right, so we're here now at range of this biocache. And we're actually going to move towards this biocache as well. I believe it is in view. It is. Okay, well, let's get a cache down while we wait. Right, another cache going down. Uh, where are we going to put you? We're going to put you here. I'm going to get some nodes up to this cache, and then we are going to go straight back into the, uh, into the alien first-person mode. Uh, we are building money, so I might put Q up for a lot of different units. Because the AI seems to only build from one spawner. Which is half the reason why there's a lot of issues occurring in this game. As the aliens, you want to be as uh, in numbers. You want to be zergy as possible. As you currently see, we're just making our way up here. And we're going to put biocache down next. As we're close enough.
Right. So, we're close enough. That'll do. Right, let's start getting units queued up. Let's get a Goliath queued. Oh, well, that's pretty much all I can do. Oh, God. Well, we have got Goliath there. We can take for a spin. Uh, let's go and let's get into it, shall we? We'll come back and uh, queue up some more units while, while the AI is currently uh, playing about. Like, there's another Goliath as well being built. Uh, the shrimps are actually starting to make their moves now towards other sectors. Which is great. Hopefully, the economy should pick up a bit more now. It's a buggy of some sort of like a see it there. Trade of smoke and dust behind it. Okay, so they've got their first rocket unit out, which is not good. That is a heavy, uh, heavy siege unit. Four buildings. Want to kill that as quickly as possible. I think that's a rocket unit. It might actually not be. They seem to be building a harvester in the ultra heavy bay. They're trying to recover their own economy. I thought that would damage to it. I want to get this Goliath into their base. I want to destroy that heavy factory. Um, they have got their first railgun tank out. That's bad. That's bad news indeed. Yeah, that's not good news. It's in that railgun tank. But no, I want to. I want to try and take down their HQ. I want to try and take down their ultra heavy vehicle factory. So 
I've got to get there quickly. I've got to get behind this very high stage. Try and avoid incoming fire. I'm going to get myself inside of the enemy headquarters. And that will stop their turrets from shooting at me. Looks like that railgun tank has actually left and gone on a mission, which is great. It means that I don't have to worry about getting railgunned. Okay. There we go. We're going to roll ourselves in. Give them that quick time. Okay, we're in. We can now finish off the AI headquarters, which stops them building structures. Which means no chance to any heavy siege units. And I can start finishing off this whole base. Looks like we've got two more Goliaths coming from the AI. Looks like the uh, economy helping that I've done definitely paid off. Uh, paid off in a massive way, actually. Looks like he has built a ton of units this way. So, headquarters is dead. Uh, we're now good to uh, just finish him off. Really? When you get to this point in the game, um, your human fragment needs to be prepared for these guys. Uh, you need those railgun tanks, you need those uh, heavy boys, you know, you need a siege tank, if possible. Uh, any, any of the tanks, really, any of the tanks with full uh, cannons, like the hover tank, the heavy armor car, um, the railgun tank, the rocket launcher, they all deal massive damage to that railgun tank to come back for me. I'm gonna use this cover as protection. Let's see if I can kill off this railgun tank. I need to get, I need to close the distance on this boy. Okay, he's being smart about it. He's going up towards that right side. This might be the death of this Goliath. Let's see if we can do it. Just lost the builder. We're taking fire from a tank as well. From a... From a... Uh, Goliath. Goliath. Trying to get around the radar dish. Right, where is he? Do I go for the kill? Do I try and go for the kill? Try and go for the kill. Oh no, he's looking at me. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. One tank. And I'm actually on top of the rail now. And I've flipped them over. I think we're good. Oh, not. He's self writing. I've hit him once. And he's dead. Oh my god. With zero HP remaining, we defeat the rail gun tank. at it as well. How many more build? Uh, there is a heavy factory right there. We're going to destroy that as well. And uh, it just needs a light factory and a barracks. And they do still have an um, economy. They have uh, two harvesters and two refineries so they could still build units despite losing most of their uh, most of their production. But we are going to sort out this heavy factory. Um, don't see their research station. Not that I, not that I can see. I might not even be able to build rail guns anymore for that fact. I think the rail uh, Yeah, I think the station's cool. Which is great. We're going to continue to finish off this, uh, this AI. I definitely feel like the AI needs to definitely benefit from a human commander. Um, just because the nature of the aliens is to be able to build units quickly and get them out into the fight. I seem to just build a single structure instead of building multiple. And also the expansion for these nodes. It's another thing as well, being able to expand those nodes out and they just, just cut down the journey time for the shrimps. It's another thing also. Uh, looks like the two harvesters are there. I'm not really worried about the harvesters now. I mean, this is like they're smashing up the refinery anyway. But uh, we just concentrating on the buildings, concentrating on uh, any size of the military they may have left. I'm actually switching to the light here, so it's fine. Um, that's a crap. I love how this uh, AI managed to climb this whole thing and just smash up the refinery in this, in this way, in this manner. We're going to roll through this once it's dead. There we go. And uh, just in time for breakfast. Coming uh, morning. And we are just finishing off the uh, final remnants of the enemy base. We've got a barrack. 
vehicle factory in our final remaining. And I believe we will see a, a GG's screen coming up. Restart. As soon as that's done, looks like this Goliath is just chilling. Just having a bing chill all over the uh, enemy light vehicle factory. It's not part of that though. We want to take this out. We want to remove it from the game. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and you know, drop a few comments below with the bell button to stay up to date here with the on my channel. Uh, join the Discord if you haven't already joined the Discord. And uh, catch up with some of my live streams I'll be doing over the course of the months to come um, on Silica and other RTS uh, city builders. I also do competitive shout outs for uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, other games like that as well. So I do do a fair amount. Um, but no, guys, um, I'm glad to be doing type of games that I love, which is RTS genres. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much. We've absolutely smashed the first Silica videos I've put out. I hope you enjoyed this alien guide. I know it was a bit slower than the human guide. But guys, I very much appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.